Is the packing facility worth using? Let's find out. So today we're looking at the packing facility mod. Been playing around with this. Love this mod. Today we're just going to make sure everything is kind of what they say. Uh, it's faster, cheaper, and everything. So I have placed one base game item. Then over here I have the carpentry. And then I have the modded carpentry. Same with the dairy. Same with the sugar mill. Right here we have the grain mill. So on and so forth. So we got a lot to get through. Um, I filled up every business. These guys are full to the max for the most part. I'll show you if I come down to our productions. Our planks for our carpentry is completely full. It only holds 18,000 liters. Now, the modded ones, they can hold a lot more. They hold up to 2 million liters. So I put 136,000 liters of planks in here. We're going to see how it produces. It's the same ratio. Uh, we get a little more wood chips out of the modded one, but besides that, the furniture is the same, and that's what I'm basing this off of. Now, going down the list, we got the same for everything. As much milk and sugar as I could put in the base game one, and then I put basically double, if not more, in every production. So milk, we have 200,000 liters. Sugar, 214,000 liters. And we're just going to be making butter. Butter is the same ratio, same everything. Uh, the cycles per month is more though. And for some of these, they're not cheaper cost per month. Like the carpentry is 72 for the base game, 24 for the modded one. But for planks for into furniture, cycles per month is 240. If you come down to the modded one, it's 12,000. That's ridiculous. I'm thinking that all the modded buildings are going to process everything in 24 hours. So I did every single one, sugar beet, wheat for the flour. I've done everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn all these on. It is 7.01 right now. I have it on half speed right now. Let's go ahead and get all these turned on. I'll go through the night, wait 24 hours, and at 7.01 tomorrow, we'll look at them all. All right, 24 hours have passed. Let's take a look at how the carpentry did. So base game, we're looking at, uh, yeah, it made 1,600 liters of furniture almost 1700 liters of furniture which is not bad it didn't use much planks but not bad the modded one made 84,000 liters of furniture and another 6,000 liters of wood chips that's a no-brainer 84,000 liters versus 1,000 liters yep 100 percent would use carpentry no problem with that Let's, uh, let's just jump over to the dairy real quick. We made butter. It made uh, 6,248 liters. Not bad. It's almost full because of the capacity it, it can only hold. The modded one made 156,204. It almost used up all the milk, but it made 156,000 liters of milk. So the base game sugar mill produced about 14,000 in one night. Not too bad. we got another 6,000 right here, plus uh, another 29,000. Sugar mill's not as bad. Honestly, you're still going to make more out of the new one for the same price as the old one. I'm going for the new, the modded one every time. All right, moving on. We have the grain mill. Now, grain mill, not bad. We have... 14,000 liters inside the base game one. It holds 300,000 liters, so really not too bad. In the modded one, we made 48,000 liters. So if you're making bread and stuff, yeah, you're going to be able to make a lot of bread a lot quicker. Spinnery. Let's take a look. Now, I just put straight wool in here. The modded one, we made 12,000 liters. I have these backwards. I placed them backwards on accident. In the base game one, we have 1,441. Yeah, that's a ridiculous difference. 12,000 versus 1,400. The cereal factory. Now, in the mod, it is called the food production uh, because it is our food factory because it is it has different things that go along with it. Let's take a look how just cereal did. So in the base game, we had 4,000. 325 liters in the modded factory we had 24,030 liters we made 20,000 extra liters in the modded one versus the not modded one 
And the Food Factory is a different price. It's about 10 grand cheaper than the base game. So it's a no brainer. I would do that every time. Now what these mods have that's really going for them besides the fast abilities and everything is they add different stuff. So if we go up to here, the modded carpentry, you can make pellets for wood chips, you turn wood chips into pellets. You can sell them for a higher price. Great add on. Don't know why it wasn't base game. Love it. Dairy, we can make soy milk as well as all the everything else. As long as you have soybean and sugar, you can make soy milk. I don't know how that makes soy milk, but apparently it does. The sugar mill does everything exactly the same, except for you can combine all of the ingredients. So you can do sugar beet, cut sugar beet and sugar cane and make more sugar than you would using all of them combined. It's just an easier way. If you're going to do everything, it's going to make you the most sugar the fastest. You can also make syrups here. So if you grab sorghum and straw, that'll make syrup. So if you just want to make syrup, get the sugar mill, grow some sorghum, get some straw, and you can make syrup all day long and make a killing, I'm sure. Going down to the grain mill, uh, the grain mill really doesn't change except for the, an option that lets you do everything. So wheat, barley, oats, and sorghum all at the same time for more flour. It's very similar with the spinnery. You have an option that will combine cotton and wool and make more fabric than if you didn't. Cereal factory and the food factory. So cereal will only do cereal. The food factory, as you can see on the right hand side, needs a lot more items because you can make ketchup, you can make salads and you can make crisps. So potato chips, it gives you the option of way more things. Would you really go back to using the base game productions after this? I don't think I will. Now, there are some options that are not in here. There's no tailor shop, there's no oil mill. Um, so some things you're going to have to use either base games or other mods. Honestly, these are fantastic. I won't use a base game mod anymore. This is going to make you more money faster. And yeah, you're going to run through your crops and it's not going to be a huge cycle. But why not? Why not speed up everything? That's quick rundown. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Just kind of going over what this mod really does. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you did like, leave a like on the video. It definitely helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.